society. My name is Sahala Padmi. I am the author of the book The Beauty of Purpose in Life. When I was a little girl, I was as beautiful as any other little girl, but I didn't believe so. I had dyslexia. I used to read books and words. I used to say M as N and N as W. But everyone used to think that I'm lazy to learn. I struggled throughout my teenage, but somehow I have managed as a below average student to an average student. One, uh, when I was in 11th, one day I went to my library. I got a book in my hand. The name which I couldn't read was Alchemist. I started reading the book and somehow I finished the first page. And I felt that it's speaking about dream. And I was a girl of dreams. I looked to the imagination world. That was the first book which I issued from the library with a heart to read. I took it to my home. Next three days I sat with it. Though I couldn't understand so many words, but I completed the book. And I got the message that when you believe in a dream, when you can see it, Visualize it, it can become your reality. My thought process started shifting by then. The real transformation happened when I attended a one session, my mastery session for two days. When I attended the session, I realized that every thought process I think, I think that belief, love, meditation, visualization. There are so many people who believe in it. When I attended the second class, after attending the class, I went to my college and I went and I went to my dean and I was speaking with him very excitedly about this topic. And I just asked him, can I just share this uh, topic with my friends in the college for just one hour? And he said that, yes, sure. And you take a session for your juniors tomorrow. I I was so happy and I went back to my hostel and prepared slides, 20 of 20 slides. The next day in class, I found, 20, I found 65 students looking at me like this and I got big heartbeats and I thought that, why did I come here? Okay, let me start the session. I started explaining each and every slide. When almost I reached the 19th slide, I just looked at my time. I looked at the time. I found that only 15 minutes has passed. More 45 minutes are left. More 45 minutes are left. That's when I closed my eyes and started to speak from my heart. And I thought, somehow I completed the 45 minutes. And I thought that this would be my last session. When I was going out of the class, the students started clapping and coming behind me and they said that, Yes, you are right. I was not confident about me. What you said at points are absolutely correct. That time, I was feeling like wonderful. A feeling that I never got in my life. Someone's opinion should not matter in your reality. Listen to your heart. Listen to yourself. 